Good afternoon, UCF Knights. I'm Milan Martinez, and here is your UCF Nightly News update. Breaking this morning, Acting Director of National Intelligence testifies before Congress. This comes on the heels of a recently declassified whistleblower complaint about a July phone call between Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and President Trump. The complaint says that President Trump asked President Zelensky to investigate former President Joe Biden and his son. As of this webcast, the director is still testifying before Congress. The 47th Annual Night Star Awards were held yesterday afternoon in the Student Union. The UCF staff was treated to a day of recognition. Staff members were honored by interim president Thad Seymour Jr. The biggest award handed out was the USPS Employee of the Year Award. Joni Reynolds, who works with the library, was handed the award toward the end of the event. I was totally shocked. I was expecting someone else in the group to get it. I even thought uh, there was another nominee who also worked in the library. Her name is Megan, and I was sure that if they were going to pick someone from the library, they'd pick her. After receiving the awards, the staff was treated to a reception in the Cape Florida Ballroom. The reception closed the event, and staff members and their families were encouraged to continue their good work. The new UCF Police Department is now downtown. The station reflects the US UCF PD's hub on the main campus. Four years of preparation went into creating this space. Partnering with the city of Orlando and Valencia helped in this creation to the public. The station features a soft interview room that offers a comfort space for victims of violence and crime. Outside of the room, a plaque hanging with a message from the Figueroas to honor and support survivors through the healing process. The purpose of the room is to give in a sense of light and comfort during the darkest of times. UCF opened its first soft in room interview room two years ago and now has its second. UCF announced their future non-conference games for the upcoming years. They have teams like Boise State and BYU on their schedule. UCF hosts Boise State at the start of the 2021 season and then goes to Boise in 2023. UCF will host BYU late in the 2023 season. BYU will host UCF at the beginning on the 2024 season. The 2021 game against the Boise State could be an elimination game for a group of five teams to make the new to make the new year's six bowl if you have been to a ucf football game then you know the knights handle business on the field they make sure they always look good doing it too adding the expanded colors to the list the pegasus logo highlighted on both sleeves and now the new motto stitched inside the neckline it may be hard to keep track of the uniforms but one ucf fan john carter john carton created a twitter page called at ucf uniform tracker carton kept track since 2016 and says there were 38 unique uniform combos in 43 games and ucf has worn 23 different helmet combos carton hopes to see more special jerseys in the future now here's your tropical update tropical storm karen is struggling right now winds were winds are around 40 miles per hour luckily it is expected to fall apart as it makes a loop towards florida there is another storm in the atlantic as well hurricane lorenzo which is now a category 4 hurricane with winds at around 130 miles per hour it is expected to turn out into the open atlantic the impact to the united states is not expected and now here's a look at the weather forecast it is going to be another hot and steamy day. Temperatures are going to be at about 92 degrees today with hardly a cloud in the sky. The winds will be at about five miles per hour coming from the west this afternoon. Tonight, the temperatures will be at around 72 degrees with a mostly clear sky, so it will be a great night to take a walk or relax on the front porch. And tomorrow, it will be another hot and sunny day with temperatures around 90 degrees. So if you're going to be outside, make sure to protect yourself from the sun. And that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. And make sure to follow us on t Instagram at UCF Nightly News to stay updated on all of our shows. Also, make sure to tune into our newscast on Fridays at 1 p.m. on Spectrum Channel 734. I'm Milan Martinez, and have a great day.